You have a crack in your basement wall and a friend tells you they had carbon fiber straps installed to fix the crack in their basement wall. What does it mean to have carbon fiber straps installed in your basement? Stay tuned to hear about carbon fiber strap insulation. Hi, I'm Nolan Beery and I'm the Director of Sales at AccuLevel. I've been around the foundation business since my family started AccuLevel in 1996. I began working full-time at AccuLevel in 2013. Carbon fiber straps may be what you need to fix a crack or a bowing wall in your home. In this video, I'll tell you how carbon fiber straps work, the installation process, and how long it takes. At the end of this video, you'll know what it takes to install carbon fiber straps. Carbon fiber straps are just simply taking carbon fiber strips held together with Kevlar and attaching it to your basement wall. Once that's attached to your wall and your wall continues to try to bow in, it's trying to stretch that strap, which the carbon fiber in its strength does not allow that to happen. Now there's multiple components to a carbon fiber strap when it's done properly, such as a necktie and a bottom anchor plate. And these in conjunction with the strap, keeping it from bowing, keeps the wall from leaning or even shearing in at the bottom. The insulation process for carbon fiber straps is one of the quickest and cleanest ways to address your bowing or cracked basement wall. What it looks like is we come in with a face grinder to take off any of the old paint, whether it's dry lock or just the old buildup of that wall to get down to your clean poured or block wall. Once that's been accomplished, then epoxy is applied to the back of the strap and the strap is pushed onto that wall. With our unique strap design through Fortress, the strap is a grid-like pattern, and so the epoxy actually comes through those grids and encapsulates that strap. So that's all cleaned up to make sure all gaps are filled in the strap with the epoxy. Then a thin piece of plastic is laid over so that we can push out any air bubbles and it gives it a nice clean finish. And also the neckties and bottom anchors are also installed at this time so that they're epoxy to that strap to give your wall the optimal strength. This all depends on how many carbon fiber straps you need in your home. Generally, we can count on any time that you're over about three to four straps, you can count on about an hour to per strap to do. So if you're doing 12 to 15 straps, you could count on a very large day of the 10 to 15 hours to get that wall done. Now, this also depends on how much paint or how many years of layered paint have been on your wall to where it may take a little bit more time to um, grind down that wall, or even if it's just a clean wall, it may go a little bit quicker. So there are some things that can dictate that. Also, our epoxy doesn't set up when there's a presence of water. And so if your blocks have water in them, it's a good thing to get water drainage installed at the same time. That allows that block to dry out so that when we put those straps there, that epoxy sets up properly. If you have issues with your crawl space or foundation, give us a call to schedule an appointment with one of our project advisors. You can also go to our homepage, AccuLevel.com, and click the Book a Consultation button. Fill out the form and we'll contact you within the next business day. Do you have questions about the inspection process? If so, please leave them in the comments below and we'll be happy to answer those questions for you. Check out the description for more videos and blog articles on crawl space and foundation repair. We noticed that about 99% of the people who watch our videos are not subscribed. So if you could take a second and hit that like and subscribe button, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.